the 90s, right? And you know that if you see it over and over again in what you do. And so you know perhaps the people that, it, that grew up in your generation and our generation they understand what you're doing in a, in a different way. Yeah, absolutely. And and you know they might not be established journalists yet, but they they have an opinion. It might be formulated based on something different, like what Lazar was saying. You know, not necessarily based on like this huge, rich knowledge of fashion history. But yeah, I think it's, sometimes it's nice when it comes from just like a really instinctual place based on just a feeling that they have towards something. When we, ref when we reference things from our generation, like last fall, you know, we had a couple of the like, clueless images in our wall, yeah. And like and none of the, you know, the, the established journalists like saw that, you know. But then some of the blogs were like, oh yeah, that was totally Alicia Silverstone, clueless. And, and that was kind of, kind of cool, it's like a, a 90s reference that the kids would only know about, but not, you know, the establishment, which is cool, I mean, and there's both sides of things. It's just cool to have kids pick up the references that you're looking at sometimes, because they get it. Did you guys happen to see um, the rant on Franca Sozzani's um, website last week or the week before? Um, I have a little quote here of something she said, and I thought you might like to react today. In, in a reference to the bloggers, she said, These aren't people who have been working in fashion too long. They don't have a background in fashion, so they are not conditioned by their knowledge. They don't hold a real importance in the business. Um, what's your reaction to that kind of comment from an established editor? <laughs> <laughs> I had to ask, right? I'm not answering. I didn't read it actually. You, you read it. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm gonna talk in circles and get myself into trouble. But I'm. I don't know what to say to that. Well, you were just you were just saying that you think you know young people who have perhaps no fashion, formal fashion training, still have. I think a voice. maybe the way. The way she defines influence is different from the way we might define influence. Like running a magazine isn't the only way to be influenced in fashion for us. Okay. That's how you're getting. We'll leave it at that. Okay. Um, you speak